Hey you guys, welcome to another episode of Masters of Breath. Today, we're gonna to talk about probably one of the most prominent figures in modern breath practice. This individual has brought more spotlight and attention uh, onto breathing purposefully uh, for health and performance, probably more than any other singular individual up to this point, and that is the Iceman himself, Wim Hof. I know that for myself, um, hearing about Wim through the Vice documentary that came out four or five years ago, that's what reinvigorated my interest in breath practice uh, as a formal way to address uh, breathing and performance. And the online course has you know, spread like wildfire and there are courses all over the place. Wim is a really amazing guy. He's broken something like 26 world records. Um, he swam under, you know, uh, meter thick ice um, with no uh, wetsuit. <clears throat> I think he swam something like 100 meters. He has the world record for the longest amount of time uh, in an ice bath. Uh, and when I say an ice bath, you know, most of us think about the thing we do, which is like get in a tub that has some water and some ice. I mean, they put him in like a telephone booth and just poured ice on him up to his chin. He stayed in for 90 minutes and had no um, drop in core body temperature. So Wim has really brought a lot of attention to breath work and its power and our ability to gain control over the autonomic nervous system, which is a really important concept. It's really interesting how Wim kind of came across breath work and his journey um, it's pretty public knowledge at this point um, that he had sort of studied martial arts and yoga um, and lots of different traditional Eastern breathing techniques throughout the course of his life, <clears throat> but he always had problems sort of translating into something that was useful. And all of his experience um, sort of culminated in two major events. One was deciding to dip into the water in Amsterdam the frozen water and to get in and to control his body's reaction to the water and that he was breathing a certain way in order to be able to deal with the water and that really changed his focus and his mindset and his physiology and then the other major event was him dealing with the uh, sudden uh, suicide of his wife um, which happened uh, pretty pretty early on um, in his uh, children's life who are, you know, they're all uh, have been adults for a long time now, but those two major events were catalysts for Wim to really understand, okay, how can I take this work and apply it to something that is real in the human experience? Um, another really interesting thing about Wim uh, is he was really one of the first people to be regularly studied in a scientific environment and see, okay, what is really going on here and is there merit to it? Up to this point, or you know, up to the point where Wim had been studied, a lot of it had sort of been folklore, fairy tales, and legends based around a lot of the more extreme claims about what breath work could do. Um, but once uh, Wim said, okay, hey, I'll back it up, let's go into a lab, um, then we really started to pay more attention to that the breath work can really be powerful and be used for modern things in context that we care about. So everybody who's learning about this, teaching about this, or using these types of strategies, techniques, and therapies uh, in a modern context really owes uh, Wim a debt of gratitude and the tip of the hat. So um, if you're watching this and you haven't heard of Wim Hof, then you should crawl out from under the rock that you've been living under. No, I'm kidding. You should just check him out online. If you go on YouTube and just put Wim Hof, W-I-M-H-O-F, two words, and Vice documentary, it'll blow you away. It's pretty amazing. So check it out. That's Masters of Breath, Wim Hof.